Bonjour everyone, Pentef here today for a new video in which we have the pleasure of talking about a new offer that just hit the game, 10,000 gold for both the AMX 3057 and the AMX CDC. And today we're going to try to find out if it's worth it. This video is kind of in two parts. The first will be about the CDC and I will do an another video on the AMX 3057 later that day. So let's not lose too much time and jump directly into it. I'm not going to bother too much talking about the CDC in the garage. All you need to know is that this thing is packing an amazing mobility sitting at 60 km per hour. Plus an amazing gun, probably one of the greatest you can have at tier 8. Simply because, well, your gun dispersion is just awesome. DPM also, reload time is only 5.5 seconds for 225 alpha damage. And your penetration is just really good. And the last thing, the total lack of armor. 30 millimeters at max, so yeah, everyone will penetrate you with HE. So now let's not bother, jump directly into the replay. In this video, I will highlight three different replays that will show you three different things you can do with the CDC and one where you will kind of see that sometimes you can't win them all. So first of all, what do you want to do with this tank? Of course, it has an amazing gun, but your main asset is your mobility. So try to use it wisely. What do I mean by that? Usually, medium tanks at tier 8 have a good mobility, allowing them to play aggressive, but not necessarily having a mix between a light and a medium playstyle. Here, the CDC combines both of those. So what I mean by that is that thanks to your gun accuracy, if you try to run around, circle things and just auto aim, you shouldn't struggle too much and you will be able to penetrate your targets. But if you do that, keep in mind that, well, you can get destroyed with HE. So for example, when a tank has 400 alpha damage, if he switched to HE to shoot at you, he will have 500 alpha damage. This is something to take into consideration before pushing anyone. Otherwise, you're gonna get surprised quite often. Now, what am I doing right now? As you can see, I'm trying to defend the hill. I was hoping for no one to go there and well, it's not what happened. And now, now uh, you're gonna see the main problem with the CDC, the lack total of armor. With the STA blocking my way, uh, that was very not nice from you, STA, but that's how it is. And now we see the mobility. As I told you, you can go from 0 to 60 km per hour in less than 4 seconds, which gives it that crazy mobility. And in a matter of 10 seconds, we are already on the other side of the map, which allows us to relocate quite fast. And when you relocate, you can be supportive toward your team. The main problem with the CDC is that it's definitely not a tank that is meant for new players. It's only for pros, simply because in order to make it work, you need to be aware of the consequences of your mobility and the ability to relocate. But to know where to relocate, you need to have some map knowledge. And to have map knowledge, you need some skill. As you can see here, we went straight into the town as soon as we saw that the Somia SM was totally alone. And even if we took some shots, we have our crazy mobility and uh, the, uh, just crazy accuracy also that are allowing us to hide behind the cover and just wait for the end of the game. Right now, I don't necessarily have the choice. I'm going to wait for the rest of my team to take shots for me. Because as you can see, your HPs are going extremely fast. But that's not a problem. We wrecked all of them. The T-34-3 is going to be the last one. The SU is coming. We'll probably sneak a shot on the T-34-3. And bang, there is no T-34 anymore. We end up the game with not that much uh, not that much damage. But as you can see, we relocated. And this allowed us to advance on the enemies, leading us to the victory. This is the kind of thing you will need to do with the AMX. The second replay is going to be a little bit of a hard break. You're going to see that, well, your main weakness with this tank is being at the wrong place at the wrong moment. And yes, it's probably one of the most common downsides concerning all tanks but particularly with the CDC. And it's going to happen right now. I was so sure that the Bachat Bourrasque didn't have the mobility to be able to climb here first, that I went in straight and tried to poke to spot. And well, this led me to lose two thirds of my hit points. And of course, when you lose all of that hit points at the beginning of the game, and I'm pretty sure it happened to a lot of you that are already using the CDC, you need to adapt your playstyle straight away. 
And how do you do that? Simply by waiting for the rest of your team. In these kind of scenarios where you lose all your hit points at the beginning, you need to play in support. And how do you do that? You wait for your teammates to push for you. And when the enemies are not looking at you, you use your adrenaline and you smoke their tank. And this is exactly what we're doing right now. As you can see, the T-34-3 kind of messed up by turning his turret. He truly didn't have a choice, did he? And now all we have to do is waiting for our adrenaline to patiently do the job for us to be able to sneak as many shots as possible on those two isolated mediums. But of course, yeah, the Batshot Buras saw us and fast, fast, we go to cover. Thank you, Mobility, because without you, I would have probably taken another shot. And now we are stuck to this support scenario, but it's not necessarily something that is stick to the essence of the AMX CDC. This kind of supportive medium style is something you will have to apply every time you getting, you're getting wrecked at the beginning of the game, or even if it's the, in the end game, but you still don't have any more hit points. I mean, this is something common. And well, even if it's not necessarily your first fitting role, it's still going to do the job. Because right now, all we have to do is wait for those guys to shoot at the Emil, that kind of sucks for the Emil because it truly served as a target, but hey, you can't win them all and sometimes you need to be opportunist. And now, all we have to do is using patiently our accuracy to be able to sneak some shots on the others. And well, even if it allows us to get a lot of damage, it's probably not going to be the most useful thing to do in order for us to win the game. But yeah, we have a mobility. If we need to relocate and go away as only heavies are remaining, we can do it. But at the moment, I judged that it was not necessarily the best thing to do. What we want to do right now is eliminate as many targets as possible. And well, that target 2 seems to be the perfect one. So there we go. We are trying to sneak shots. Unfortunately for me, my shell is not going to go where uh, I was aiming. And now, unfortunately, remember that Tiger, because he's going to be useful for later, we are stuck against a 53 TP. I know that I will not be able to bounce anything, so instead I'm going to go directly for the track. Well, now I'm trying to track him up once again, and I was thinking, okay, I have time to kill that guy, but <laughs> the Tiger that I missed. Yeah. Sometimes some shells are more worth than others. It still allowed me to do a good game, but you see the complete lack of armor of that tank that will not allow you do anything and if at the beginning of the game you get punished for a mistake you did and all of your teammates die in the process there is zero to little chance for you to win finally the last replay will show you a summary of the old tank because here in this replay specifically i'm not necessarily going to talk about the game at citra i'm just going to talk about what i'm doing I have a great mobility, so the first thing I want to do is take an aggressive and advanced position from which I know I will be able to sneak some shots on the mediums passing by on the right side of the map. So this is exactly what we're doing, but first, as I have some time and I know that I have, I'm trying, sorry, to spot whatever was coming. Nothing is coming, so yeah, now we pull back and we sneak a first shot on the Batshat Blask and we wait, as I told you, for the second medium to sneak our shells. And this is where map knowledge is getting taken into consideration. I told you that with the CDC, you need to know a little bit about maps. And this is a kind of perfect example, because here at the beginning of the game, I managed to pull out 500 damage. Now, I'm sticking myself into that peekaboo uh, position, because peekaboo is quite effective with the CDC. I know that I have some support behind, especially the Krupp Steer Waffentrager. So what I'm doing right now is trying to brawl against the tiger but i'm not trying anything stupid as you can see the tiger can only see my turret if he manages to see my turret and what i'm gonna try is only showing the least i can about my tank just for me to be able to see the shots when i must uh, shoot them so there we go we're sneaking the first one here we are trying to escape from the tiger and now once again we are trying some peekaboo sometimes it works sometimes it half work with the bounces and sometimes it doesn't work with me getting hit that's not a problem there we go again we are trying because right now i'm kind of stuck in that position i don't have the choice i need to get rid of the tiger but unfortunately out of all the heavy tanks the tiger is probably one of the fastest reloading one which is 
kind of unpleasing, but hey, that's how it is. We have to work with it. Luckily for me, the crew decided to do something, and now all I have to do is sneaking my shells on the tire that is completely lost. So there we go. He missed again. Bang, we go in, switching to gold shell, because as I already mentioned in the hangar, this tank is packing some serious possibilities when it comes to penetration and now the last one and the best for the end bang the rhm as you can see we are a crazy rammer because we managed to do 726 damage on that poor boy which led us to get two kills nearly 3.4k damage and a victory what did we do here first we played an aggressive position from which we had a point uh, a viewpoint an observation point which led my team to follow me after which then allowed me, as I was in all down, to pick a boo against heavies and against mediums or against whatever enemy I'm confronting. And as soon as I see that there is an opening that I can go in straight because they are preoccupied by something else, I go in, I ran the shit out of the weakest tanks and bang, we got ourselves a first class. This is pretty much what you're supposed to do with the CDC, but trust me, it's harder than it looks because you need to have good map knowledge so yeah this is my little review of the cdc now something i forgot to talk about probably is the price of the tank Ten thousand gold for both of those tanks and knowing that the amx 3057 is one of the rarest tanks because i don't know why but wargaming is not uh is not um yeah he's not he's not he's not he's not he's not releasing Whew, i struggle with this one He's not releasing the MX 3057 really often, so I think that for 10,000 gold, there are still better offers. If you are here purely for the collection, yeah, go ahead, but otherwise than that, I don't think that it's worth it at all. If there was an offer with the CDC in one hand and the MX 3057 in the other, I would tell you to get the MX 3057. But in the current offer, that's a little bit too much, in my opinion. Well, if you enjoyed, feel free to subscribe, like, and share. Tell me in the comments what do you think about the CDC and why not also about the AMX 3057. And personally, I'm going to see you soon for a new video. Bye.